Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. Today doing a rebuild challenge. This is an interesting one. We're going to see how it goes. It is the Big Ten only rebuild challenge. So the way that's going to work is we're going to randomly flick through teams here until we uh, eventually land on one. Um, and from that point on, I am only allowed to sign and draft Big Ten players only. Now, the starting team is fine. We don't have to release every single person on the team and, and somehow find Big Ten players only. But we can only sign, trade, and draft Big Ten players. So I'm going to flip through, uh, and I'll eventually stop, and we'll see who I get. Stop. Seahawks, all right. All right, so I was wondering where I was going to list Russell Wilson at either NC State or Wisconsin. So he's Wisconsin. We're going to count as Big Ten either way, which is cool. Doug Baldwin went to a, a, a Pac-12 school, as did Tyler Lockett. They both went to a, no, Tyler, Kansas State. or I thought he went to Stanford for some. No, that was Ty Montgomery. I don't know why I confused him. Um, so he went to a Big 12 school. I don't even know where Vanette went. Vanette went to Ohio State, so that works. Just trying to figure out like who we need to uh, really work on replacing here. So Dwayne Brown doesn't work. Chris Carson, Oklahoma State, Big 12. Mike Davis, South Carolina, so that's SEC. Rashad Penny went to San Diego State. I would like to fill it with mostly Big 10 players. I don't know where Tedrick Thompson went. Colorado, so that doesn't work. Where'd KJ Wright go? Mississippi State, so that's SEC. Bobby Wagner is Utah State, so that doesn't work. Mingo is LSU. Markevi, so that doesn't work. That's SEC. Bradley McDougald, Kansas, so that's Big 12. Shaq Griffin's UCF, that's the American, that doesn't work. Trey Flowers is Oak State, so that's Big 12, doesn't work. Shamar Steven looks like the D's nuts guy. Went to UConn. Deion Jordan went to Oregon. Doesn't work. Uh, Jerron Reed went to Bama. Yeah, so that doesn't work. And then Frank Clark went to Michigan, I believe, right? Yeah, so that works. All right. So the, the guys I'm looking to keep, Frank Clark, Russell Wilson, uh, Vanette, I guess. DJ Fluker's up to an 82 overall now. Good for him, dude. All right, well, we are in week 14. We're going to simulate now to the offseason because that's when all this starts. That's when we can start to make trades. That's when we can start to draft and sign. And there's a certain Michigan State running back that could be available. And even though he's my number two favorite player in the NFL right now behind Adrian Peterson, Earl Thomas went to Texas, so we can't re-sign him. We need to re-sign Frank Clark. Can't resign KJ Wright. Where did Michael Kendricks go? Ooh, he went to Cal. So that obviously doesn't work. But we need Frank Clark back 100%. The rest have to walk. Frank Clark has returned. And uh, goodbye to the rest of you players. This might be super difficult. It really could be. It really could be a real pain. I don't even have an idea about how this is going to go. Is that Michigan State running back available? He is. Le'Veon Bell. Welcome to the Seattle Seahawks. I'm giving him so much money. I don't care. It's a shame that Tevin Coleman's also here because we he went to Indiana, which is in the Big Ten. Threat TCU. I have no idea where Trevor Williams went. Penn State. Ooh. Okay. So I pretty much signed anybody actually worth getting. Well, I made offers, which was Trevor Williams and Le'Veon Bell. So this is actually off to a pretty good start in free agency, as both accept. Le'Veon Bell and Trevor Williams will hopefully help this defense out. And I guess I will be looking to trade guys like Cam Chancellor, who went to Virginia Tech, and Shaq Griffin, UCF. I guess I would try to trade these players away. Hopefully Bobby Wagner has a lot of value. I have not taken a look at the draft class at all. Obviously didn't load one in. Well, I guess it's not obvious, but I, I would have told you guys. Let's see who's on the draft board. Who are some eligible players? So the number one player in the class, we'll probably go ahead and pause this in case we want to move up. 
Not that I would be trading up to number one, but there's a possibility for it. So, Aram Spivy here. Looks all right. Looks pretty good. I don't know about the number one player in the class, though. I think Nebraska moved in the Big Ten, right? Yeah, they're in the Big Ten now. Rashad Lyons looks pretty good. He looks really solid. We're going we're gonna to watch him. I mean, we might as well watch everyone. Whatever. Well, you'll see who we pick. If we move up, you'll know about it. We're just going to skip to our pick. I'm not moving up. Hopefully, one of the really good Big Ten players is available at number 25. As the Chargers take a Texas Southern linebacker in the first round. He's not good at all. <laughs> what are you doing down there in L.A.? Ooh, yikes. I'm not seeing a lot of Big Ten here of t talented players that I have watched. The best guy we can draft is a cornerback, Willis Blackburn out of Penn State. So welcome to the Seattle Seahawks. He's not that good. He's not terrible, but like... We missed out on some, some really good players. It's just unfortunate that we had a trash pick. We're very lucky, though, that our uh, quarterback was Big Ten to start things off. Because if we were looking to draft, and, and there was a good one in this class, but say we didn't get a good quarterback that hit free agency or the draft, what do we do? We could just have a trash team the entire time and never get better. And this this player looks so good besides speed. Chantrell Frey, unlucky that he's UCLA. Dude, there's some really good players that I would absolutely draft here, and none of them are Big Ten. I'm very unlucky. Dude, why, why is Penn an Ivy League school? Just, like, stick a state on the end of that one. Can you get I pass for that? Can we pretend it says Penn State and not Penn? And, like, look at these middle linebackers. They all look pretty good. Of course, none of them Big Ten, except for LaMichael Hammond, who sucks ass. Just take a shot at someone we don't know about. Keenan Barksdale looks all right, to be fair. Combine Warrior. 73 overall. Decent value for the pick. Not that good. Again... What are we going to do? Now I'm just scrolling through. It'll literally be the first Big Ten player I see. Now that we're here in the fourth round, I don't know anything about these players. I shouldn't have had it on auto-scouting. I know this now. But I'm just so used to going into the habit and doing that. And I'm not really seeing any Big Ten at all. I'm sure I passed some. But I don't want to draft these all like undrafted caliber players. Are there any Big Ten players in this entire class now? Oh, LaMichael Hammond. Guess what? You're on the team now. Oh, you're going to tell me you suck? Yeah, shocker. Quick development. Great. We'll throw you right in there. 67 overall. Can't wait. We're going to simulate to the end. I'm done. Let's make some trades. We need to get more Big Ten. E. You know? We need more Big Ten talent. And it involves trading some absolute studs. But you know what? It's what's going to have to happen. Bradley McDougal, that star development now, like, how unfortunate. This was this was a crazy idea. I don't know if I'll do more of these, like Big 12, SEC. SEC might be kind of easy, not gonna lie. But we'll, I mean, we'll have to see. All right, who's a good who's a good Big Ten player here? Get. We don't need a running back. Khalil Max of Buffalo. So that's not gonna work. What about a receiver? What if we went after Michael? Thomas. How close is this going to be? Ooh. This is going to be real hard. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. That's close, though, huh? I, I cannot get Michael Thomas. However, this is not the last of the Big Ten players on this team. The last thing we need is another cornerback. Patrick Robinson looks like... I can't call him a crackhead in a video. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, he looks like one, though. We might be able to get Marshawn Lattimore. Well, fourth round pick's not going to get it done. I feel like this is like a similar spot to where we were with uh, Michael Thomas. Let's add Barkevius Mayonnaise, and maybe this will happen. Uh-uh. Yeah, we really are not going to be able to get this done. It's actually super difficult to trade for anybody. It's very frustrating. I don't know. I, like, I'm trying to trade a 99 overall player in his prime. He, of course, he would be at 99 overall, but like... Come on. All right. This is the first trade I can get to go through. And yeah, I get it. It's lopsided. It's terrible. But it's what we have to do. Bobby Wagner, uh, Shaquille Griffin, and a third round pick next year for Malik Hooker. 
I tried to package in Shaq, the other Shaq from Shaquem, but I uh, would rather split up a family. So Malik Hooker, welcome to the team. We're going to split up a family over a hooker. Fun story. All right, Ryan Ramchek went to Wisconsin, if memory serves correct. Might want to look that one up just to confirm, but I'm like 99% positive. I'm like, I'm 100% sure. I don't even have to look this up. I'm going to look it up anyway, though. Yeah, Wisconsin. All right. He's an offensive lineman, so I should be able to get him. Add in Justin Britt, and it's a done deal. Cam Chancellor, Barkevius Mayonnaise, and Justin Britt for Ryan Ramchek. Taylor Lewan is Michigan, right? Yes, sir. There we go, baby. Doug Baldwin, Bradley McDougal, and John Reed for Taylor Lewan. And suddenly we have a decent tackle combo. I like that. Bradley Roby's Ohio State. Who do I have a cornerback right now? I think I have I think I have two solid ones, right? Oh no, just Trevor Williams? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to get Bradley Roby. Alright, boom. Tyler Lockett, Chris Carson, and a third for Bradley Roby of Ohio State. And um yeah. Why right, this team sucks. This is gonna be it's gonna be brutal. Quick development on him. Oh, Malik McDowell, Michigan State, star. Man, I wish he developed in, in real life. He got into like an accident and then something. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this team is real bad right now. And all we have are Ohio State players. It feels like that's not true. Now it's actually spread pretty uh pretty well between Ohio State and other things it's like Wisconsin, Michigan, Michigan State, Wisconsin. I always forget where Vanette is. Ohio State. Or Vanit, I don't know what it is. Uh, Michigan State, Michigan, Penn State, Ohio State, we have Ohio State. We have like barely any Ohio State. I don't even remember what these rookies are. But yeah, the team sucks. Obviously, we're gonna try to get it better. All right, this team is ass. I didn't even check the stats from season one because it didn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to the off season. This team is not winning anything. I can guarantee you. So, see you for the off season. We went 10 and 6. Did we make the playoffs? How did this team win 10 games? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> did we make the playoffs? Hold the phone right now. We made the playoffs. And we barely lost to the Packers in the wild card. And as you can see in the top left, because I have moved my face cam, the Packers made it to the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. The final time they'll ever play. Because the Packers and the Patriots don't have them uh, not the same schedule until like 2022. So, or 2021, probably not uh, going to be in the league by that point, both of them. Well, maybe Aaron Rodgers, but Tom Brady, like almost certainly not. He's not going to play till he's 44 or 45. I doubt. Maybe will. I don't know. Russell Wilson is a free agent. And we also have to bring back Vanette. I think it's Vanette, right? I don't think it's Vanette. I think it's Vanette. Russell Wilson and Nick Vanette are back. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, what is it? Fetty's what? Texas A&M? Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, you know what I didn't do again? Well, see, I can do it now. But, uh, I almost forgot to turn off auto scouting. All right, please be good. Big 10 players in free agency. Eric Ebron is UNC, so no. Demarius Randall's Arizona State, so no. Marcus Peters is Washington, so no. Are you sensing a trend? This is not good. I don't even know where David Onyemata went. Manitoba. Canada? Yeah. <laughs> this is not, not even close. He's played in Canada. Oh, my goodness. He's good, though. I don't know how he found his way to the NFL. Is anyone in here going to be a Big Ten player? I don't think Tyler Higby is. No, the Hilltopper? No. All right, so we are... We are SOL here. Outside of Trey Waynes. And, like, Trey Waynes isn't even good. So, I, like, I regret this contract already. That's a little bit more friendly. But we need Big Ten players, so... We kind of have to take what we can get. Can't really be too picky. We got Trey Waynes. We've got a decent cornerback trio. We are missing quite a few positions, but cornerback looks good. The secondary, honestly, as a whole... Looks pretty solid. Got to improve overall. Malik Hooker is going to develop really quickly. 
We need to do really, really, really well in the draft. And we only have a first, a second, a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we'll see. We don't need it. We don't need a tackle. And this dude, you couldn't have just gone to Northwestern. Had to be Northwestern State. He looks really, really good for a fifth rounder. For anyone, to be honest. He's going to be a sick player. And we can't draft him. I'm finding a large lack of Big Ten players in this class. Ooh, there's one. I like that. Ooh, Rashad Craig. Looking like he's not really good at anything. But he runs fast and he's strong. Great. All right, we pick at number 23 overall. We might consider moving up for any of the good Big Ten players. Have I missed any? I didn't mark him because we don't really need a tackle. Um, so there's a tight end, Carter Mann. Looks pretty good, but is it worth having him over Vanette? Not sure. I'm really looking at Alvaron Barnes to play strong safety. Will he be available when we pick, and do we have a backup plan? Ooh. Not really. <laughs> Yikes. We might want to move up a little bit. Oh, there he goes at number 13. Well, there, you know, we're, we weren't going to be in play for him. And he's also not good, which is, uh, I mean, it seems to be a trend here. And this player looks sick. Quinn Holt, he fits the bill, but we have a quarterback. But could I trade this one for value? I think that's going to be the play. That's the play. We're going quarterback Quinn Holt out of Penn State. 79 overall star development, number six in the class. This is going to be a player that we trade. Might work better than Russell Wilson, to be honest. But I think he's going to be trade bait. Or we trade Russell Wilson. I know highway travesty or robbery would be a travesty and a tragedy. Might have to be the best play, though. All right, BJ. BJ. Blowjob Barad. Let's take him. 73. Really, 73. I thought he's going to be much better. He looked good. High run block, lead block, impact block, strength. He will be a starter. Unfortunately, I guess that's a bad thing because he's not good. All right, any Big Ten players here? I know I got to be missing some, right? Ooh, Othniel Brown. Here we go. Are you good? Oh, first round pick caliber, number 25 in the class. We took him at 119. Oh, yeah, that's a player. It's a player right there. He's going he's gonna to start for us. Tell you what, man. Any Penn State? I don't know. I'm looking for Penn State exclusively. Are there any Big Ten players? I'm going to say probably not. And we are going to be done. Not a bad draft class. You got you to gotta say. I want to see. I need to find. Well, let's not start by round, actually. I need to find uh, that wide receiver that I said was going to be good. Is that him, actually? His name Rudd? I think it was. Is he good? Yeah, he's a 76 overall. I mean, that is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, this is the guy. I mean, that's a really good wide receiver. That's first-round talent. Why would, uh... No, we... Ethan Poaches could not start at right guard. Well, maybe he can, actually. He definitely can. He, LSU? No, no. Uh, I guess Brown's gonna start at center for right now. I guess. We need some wide receivers. And badly. Very, very badly. I mean, we need a lot of things, to be fair. We need to make some trades. That's where it's going to start. We need linebackers. We need we need offense as well. Wide receiver is a big one. Dude, I almost want to trade Russell Wilson and then rock with Quinn Holt and then still put Russell Wilson in the thumbnail anyway. Ooh, that'd be really cool. Ooh, Levante David is a Big Ten player. Ali Marpet went to Hobart, so that doesn't work. The thing about Levante David is he is 30. But again, I feel like that it's the only thing we'll be able to get. Can we... Oh, hell yeah! Whoa, that's almost going to go through as is. Let's add in a random pick that doesn't matter. A 7th, could that get it done? Ooh, no, it's not. What about a 6 and a 7? Oh, that's so close. What about a six and a future six? 
Really? What about a six? And get this. A future five. Levante David, Nebraska Cornhusker, is on the Big Ten squad. Panthers. Ooh, you know who played on the... K1 Short is a Big Ten guy. He's 31, though. But again, I think we have to take what we can get. And I haven't done... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maryland is in the Big Ten now. Yes. Can we get DJ Moore? Let's let's take out the QB first and kind of give it a... Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Quinn Holt. Oh, that's close, dude. Would Russell will... I assume it'd be the same. I'm going to give a little test, though. Yeah, it's the exact same. They're valued the exact same. How crazy is that? We're going to have to take out Tedrick Thompson. What would we add? We have no value. It'd have to be a pick. I could give up a second. Oh, it's not going to go. It's not going to go. We're so close to DJ Moore. That's brutal. We're so close. I don't, I don't know what we even do there. I think I'm going to simulate close to the midseason mark. Try to upgrade these players a little bit. Especially via Coach XP. And then come back and try to trade for him then. Because that'd be that would be huge for us. And really, it should be simulate to trade deadline. I don't know why it's midseason over that. It just doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion. That's another thing I might try to get EA to change. I'll definitely bring it up. But we'll have to see. We're 3-3 three and three near the midseason mark. Currently in play for the NFC West. Not off the table. Oh, upgrade point. Even for the quarterback. Maybe that gives him some more value. I don't know. Good. Alright, what was this trade again? Just Tedrick Thompson. It was Nas Jones and the quarterback. Pretty sure. And it goes through. Beautiful. So... Taking that QB ended up securing us DJ Moore, which is a huge help at the wide receiver position. Thank God Maryland's joined the Big Ten. And DJ Moore also came with three skill points. That'll put him up to a 91 overall. It's a great face scan for him. Looks exactly like him. Shocker. <laughs> That's what the face scans do. Uh, but yeah, we're killing it. 91 overall. He is still very, very young. Maybe we'll have good development. Yes, yeah, star, 23 years old. That's it, chief. And am I fitting in? Is that what the kids say? Mike Ford actually has played pretty well for the Lions. Any uh, any Big Ten players in free agency? No? Okay. A lot of Florida and Auburn. What the H? Dude, look at this. Florida, number one, and Quincy Wilson. He's in free agency? That's ridiculous. Uh, regardless of that, look at this. Auburn, Florida. Auburn, Florida. Florida. A lot of UCLA, too. Auburn. Dude, these are good young players. Cameron Johnson. Do I have a punter? I don't think so. Well, I have Michael Dixon, but... Michael Dixon went to Texas. Hook him horns. This hurts more than you know. He's not going to have any trade value. Ugh, it hurts. Also... Michael Badgley is rocking uh, a crazy mullet, and I love it. But we unfortunately have to release him and hopefully go sign a, uh, a Big Ten kicker. All right, who's in here that works? A lot of Auburn in Florida. Fits the trend. Nick Rose, oh, I remember him. He was not that good. There we go. Penn State. Sam Ficken. Great. Will Disley is green value from the Panthers. I'm going to try to get K1 short. Do I even have to throw Rashad Penny in there? I don't. That is so good. The way is to get old players. I have glitched the system. Well, obviously it's not a glitch, but... It's just... Uh, it's a beautiful thing to trade Will Disley a 6th next year and a 7th this year for K1 short. Who is a Big Ten boy? Purdue is Big Ten. So good. I like that. It's just it's just this team is actually coming together, I feel. 
Obviously, we have some holes. Wide receiver is not where we need it to be. Defense is uh, not terrible, honestly. Jacob Martin doesn't fit. But we're almost we're almost there. All right, we got Levante David, Ryan Ramchek, Malik Hooker, Malik McDowell all back. We need to get some bigger Big Ten players. Emphasis on big and maybe 10 of them. <laughs> I get it. All right, playoff time. We might actually make it with this abomination of a team somehow because we did last year. And I, I kind of just simulated. And we did not make it this time. Finished 8-8 eight and eight, though. I don't know how we're doing so well. <laughs> It's got to be playbooks, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we did. We had the first offense in the NFL. Makes no sense. Russell Wilson was solid. And Le'Veon Bell literally is just a glitch. That's pretty much what it comes down to. DJ Moore was fantastic. Who else is he going to throw to? Apparently, Martinez Everett, 88 times out of Louisiana Lafayette. Offensive line was pretty damn good defensively. LaMichael Hammond is balling out. Frank Clark had a good season. Malik McDowell played pretty well. A lot of a lot of uh, Big Ten going out, going on in there on the defense. I like it. We're getting there. For what, where was our defense ranked? Got to be pretty bad, right? Twenty third. All right. Well, we're we're working towards it. What team am I? The Seahawks. Le'Veon Bell six. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Ezekiel Elliott. Le'Veon Bell four. Defensive Player of the Year, Jalen Smith. I don't see any Seahawks. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Bradford Koyak. Carrington Najvar finishes third. Miles Bryant, nine. I didn't draft any of these players. And then uh, defensively, nobody. Sam Ficken and Cameron Johnston, both free agents. We don't really have a choice. We kind of need to resign both of them. So we'll go one-year deals again. Maybe something else will come along the line that's good. Or better, I should say. But for right now, that's the play. We have a lot of money, obviously, because we're not paying anyone. Caffrey's here. Stanford doesn't work. Philip Lindsay's uh, Colorado doesn't work. So we don't need him. Dude, no one is Big Ten. SEC. This is ECU. Uh, Tennessee's SEC. NC State. Mike Williams is Clemson. Sidney Jones is Washington. Nobody fits. <laughs> Garen Conley fits. It's a shame Cameron Hayward is 32 years old. There's really not a whole point to sign him. I mean, I will. Curtis Samuel's here, too. I don't want to sign Cameron Hayward to this deal, but, like, he's going to be our best option at left end right now. And then we're going to sign Curtis Samuel because we need wide receivers really bad. And I'm going to offer him more money. Because we really, really need him to sign. And we're going to sign Jordan Lewis, too. We just need all the Big Ten players. John Ross is Washington. Where did Moten go? I have not even an idea. Western Michigan, so that doesn't work. We're close regionally, just not quite there. All right, we got everybody. Three Ohio State players and a Michigan guy. Jordan Lewis, Curtis Samuel, Gary and Conley, Cameron Hayward. We're getting better. We really are. Cameron Hayward has to play left end. It's just, uh, again, a real shame that he's 32 because he would have been really good for this like seven years ago. Love all the Big Ten players that are uh, quarterbacks that we don't need to draft. But we will if they stay on the board, maybe. Oh, look at this middle linebacker, J.C. Goda. We might need to go to town and draft him. Uh, look at this great first round blocking tight end running a five second 40. How do I get that? Uh, this guy is a first round player, he thinks, with fourth round talent. <laughs> the ego on this guy. Will Horton, shout out to the UGF Pandas. There are a shocking amount of UAB players in this draft class. For UAB, like not even having a football program every couple years, it's pretty amazing. Ooh, decent players in here. Indiana, Iowa getting involved. Okay. Ooh, Ray Larson, first-round defensive tackle with six-round abilities. Hell yeah. You guys got to wonder why I signed every cornerback that's ever played in the Big Ten, and there's good reason for it. I will be trading them 
for other Big Ten players. It's a scheme. All right, we pick at number 16 overall. Jets and then Giants and then Bills. The th three New York teams. Of course, the Giants and Jets play in New uh, Jersey. Great love for the area. And this is a good safety. We need Gota. Dude, I already know I'm not going to be able to get this Gota guy. I already know. He's going to go way too early. It's impossible. I tried to trade up with the Panthers. There he goes at 5. He's at 81 overall. It's brutal. Here we are at 16. Is anyone here? Oh, my God. No. The answer is no. no I mean, we could take another quarterback and do that same strategy. The best option for us is to take a quarterback, which is crazy. Who's the best one? Rhett Ogden, probably. All right, Rhett. 79 quick. Eh, it's not, not so bad. It's not so bad. All right. Could be a time for another quarterback. Uh, yeah, there's just... Uh, we're in, a, we're in a bad spot. I'm going to take Jamal Kroom now. Oh, 472? How do you even call yourself a receiver? Go play... Uh, I mean, he is 6'5", 227. That's just a little bit of a slow time. I'm going to hope he's available later. I'm taking a quarterback. Who Who is the best out of these two? Both have noodles. Even this guy would fit. It's going to have to be one of these top guys... I'm going to go Bryant Shepard because he has better potential to have more. 80 overall quick development. More trade bait. I love it. We're trading with the Saints. And we're getting Michael Thomas. All right, is that slow-ass receiver still on the board? Oh, he is, actually. Why am I excited? Like, he's terrible. I almost want to take Russell Bonner instead. Because he just looks better. I'm actually really... I'm down for that. We're going to take Russell Bonner. Are you good? Oh, 75 normal, number 45 in the class. That's actually pretty sick. <laughs> this is what I get excited for nowadays. That slow-ass receiver, if he's on the board, I will take him. He's not. A real shame. All, you know, Fs in the chat. <laughs> Terrible player. Look at these guys I have watched, too. Like, how sad is it? This is a guy that I'm like, wow, might want to save him for later. Is that my only player watched on the draft board? Yep. Ooh, I need to keep an eye on this guy. He's terrible. He, well, he's not terrible. He's nice. That's the end of the draft. Honestly, what a great class. Two quarterbacks, which you know what they say, uh, feed two birds with one scone on that one. Of course, we don't want to be specious, specious which is racist towards animals, essentially. So instead of saying, uh, uh, kill two birds with one stone, you say, feed two birds with one scone, which is what we're doing here with those two QBs. All right. Bryant, Shepard for Michael. T they have yellow value? Why? What do you mean? What do you mean yellow? How am I supposed to get Michael Thomas if you don't have green interest? You need a quarterback. These are quarterbacks. What are you, what are you talking about? Yellow interest. Would Vikings have any Big Ten players? The Neil Hunter is LSU, so no. Stefan Diggs is Maryland. Okay. Now we're talking. Yeah, there's just no shot of me getting Stefan Diggs. Barr is UCLA. Eric Kendricks is uh, UCLA. No. Where's Eric Kendricks? Miles Jack is UCLA. I don't know why that would... You get the two confused. He's what, probably Cal. No, UCLA. Idiot. Idiot. Harrison Smith is Notre Dame. Kirk Cousins works, but we don't need him. Damn. All right. This is not the team. Falcons. Keanu Neal. No. Julio. No. Deion Jones. No. Devontae Freeman. No. Grady Jarrett. I don't know. Clemson. Not going to work. All right, there's a... I don't know if you guys realize this. There's more schools than not. Also, what's up with this? So we have Keanu Neal's Florida. So we have SEC, 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 ACC, ACC. Desmond Trufant. 
I don't remember. I was gonna say Washington. I couldn't. I couldn't confirm. Had to look it up. So he's he's Pac-12. He's the exception. Back to Calvin Ridley, SEC, ACC. I didn't mean. AC, I meant a. Uh, I meant Pac-12. Um. No one fits at all. They have no Big Ten on this team. More SEC. The SEC version of this is gonna be sick. I guarantee you that's coming. Look at all these SEC players, dude. Von Bell would work, unfortunately. Is that really my best option? Yeah, it is. All right, we got Von Bell. It's Bradley Roby and a fifth. So we have a better strong safety now. I need linebackers. Von Bell might have to play linebacker. That's where we are. The team's regressing. We need to be better. I need to trade these quarterbacks for something. We're so close on Stefan Diggs. It's not even funny. Right, it's going to have to be a first-round pick as well, but it's going to be worth it. Shepard, Trey Waynes, and a first-round pick for Stefan Diggs. And our receiving core is actually respectable. 91 offense. 83 defense. Could use some work. Um, it actually isn't bad, though. Cornerback set. Safeties set. Defensive line, pretty good. We need linebackers. We need a linebacker and a right guard. Or a center. Center or right guard. Ooh, Darquez Denard? Yes, I will sign you. I can't get Travis Frederick, which disappoints me greatly. I will say. This is the squad for whatever season we're in. It's 2021. It honestly is not that bad of a team. Like, we're, it's not that bad, okay? Ooh, midseason mark 5-2? and two? Are you joking, my ass? Trade center still available? Let's upgrade the team and try to trade some of these guys for a stud. That needs to happen. We're a worse overall somehow. Maybe confidence, maybe? I need to trade Rashad Penny. I need to trade anyone that I can for a good player. Who can I put in this thumbnail is my question right now. Le'Veon Bell. I, I got a thumbnail. We're fine. We're fine. I don't have any real, like, insane defensive studs. I really don't. I need I need one defensive stud. Is J.J. Watt still a guy? Does he still exist? That needs to be a player we get. Oh, J.J. Watt is here, and he's 32, and he wants to become a member of the Seattle Seahawks, a.k.a. Big Ten team. Which is not to be confused with my my boy, Jake Paul, is Big Ten. We're good friends. Um, <laughs> I don't know where this joke is going. I'm, uh, dude, Vanette's Big Ten. I don't know if I can trade him. That's crazy. No, I, I gotta trade him. What do you, I gotta trade him. Unless, unless I can trade picks to acquire the Watt. Ooh, I might be able to. Jordan Lewis, a one of the three. No! It's going to be Jordan Lewis, a 1 and a 2. And we got J.J. Watt. That's what I'm talking... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man, I'm such a piece of shit. Oh, heck yes. That's what I'm talking about. Again, another big trade going down. Shaquem Griffin, Kenan Barksdale, and a fourth for Ryan Shazier. We finally have a linebacker. Well, we had Levante David. I guess he's, we still do, but he, yeah, he didn't count. Ryan Chaser's on the team. We can kick LaMichael Hammond out to right outside line or left outside linebacker. And now we have a squad. I need offensive line, though. I need, I need a center. That's kind of it. And I know who you're thinking. Oh, go after Travis Frederick. You don't, you don't get it. He is not an acquirable player. You, I cannot get him. I tried. It's not possible. I wanted to. You just can't. Oh, we need a quarterback. They don't want him. Look, no interest. What do you mean? How about some picks? Nah, they don't They don't care for those either. It, I can't get him. It's a one player that would tie everything together so nicely, and I can't do it. We have a pretty good team. Like I, I'm surprised it went as well as it has. I, say, I should say I'm surprised it's gone as well as it has. Ryan Shazier's up to a 92. Good to see him back in the league. Obviously, went, uh, you had a horrific injury. LaMichael Hammond has star development now. 
count my lucky stars, dude. The Michael Hammond, when did you get star development? Last year, maybe? All right. This is not that bad of a team. I'm like actually surprised. Playoff time. We went 10 and six. That's, that's how you do it. Russell Wilson, not that good, but you know what? Le'Veon Bell was probably sick, and he was. He ran like the devil, you could say. Decent performance from the receiver boys. But um, offensive line held together pretty well. Defensively, Ryan Shazier was a beast. Tackles for loss. J.J. Watt was a monster. Sacks, he had 14 and a half. Interceptions, two for Trevor Williams. We didn't really, we don't force a lot of turnovers around here, which is okay. Not everyone can. Not a lot of forced fumbles. Only a safety from Levante David. No defensive touchdowns. 12th best offense in the league. And the fourth defense. Okay. Now we're coming to play. Zeke won MVP. Le'Veon Bell at seven. NFC Offense Player of the Year, Ezekiel Elliott, Le'Veon Bell at four. Defensive Player of the Year, Jalen Smith. Is it all Cowboys? Shazier at six. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Saul. Saul what? No, I'm not going to even bother. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Emery Keel. Panthers, Panthers, Panthers. No Seahawks. All right, let's let's upgrade this squadron. It's, it's kind of surprising Russell Wilson has remained at a 90 the entire time. Hasn't really gone up or down. But he's just kind of been, yeah, I'm just a 90. That's as good as I am. I don't get better or worse. I stay at a 90 forever. Oh, my goodness. I spoke too soon. He's a 91. 87 overall. 91 offense, 91 defense. It's, I, you know what? I'm, again, surprised we did as well as we have. Let's go ahead and play the moments. Beat the Rams. What's our overall? 80, 88? All right, we're right in the same ballpark. All right, we're up early. Well, I, that's not true. It's it's late. It's uh, the fourth quarter. And um, looks like we're going to walk out of here with the win. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to... Can we just get to the end, please? 27 to 14 is the final. And let me tell you, I saw Todd Gurley pop up on the screen. And it is going to be such a relief to go to the SEC and get literally whoever I want, basically. Because I get access to Alabama, which, oh boy, what a joy. LSU, Georgia... Florida, even Tennessee, Vanderbilt. Like, there are so many incredible options. Texas A&M, which, you know, whatever. They got some good players, though. We got the Cowboys in the divisional. The Cowboys are really good. This maybe won't go well. It's a close game right now, but we're going to pull ahead, actually. It's 21-6. to Haven't jumped in just yet. And I don't think I'm going to in this game. We're kind of mowing over everybody. Which is shocking, because we aren't that good. That's just the reality. Not that good of a team. But again, similar score. Maybe even the same. I don't I don't remember the last one. This one, 27-13. And somehow, the Big Ten squad is rolling. It isn't that good. And we've played with much better teams and done a whole lot worse. But somehow, this team is performing. I don't know how. But I am not complaining. Conference championship time versus the Atlanta Falcons. What overall are they? 90? I don't know. Hope for the best. And another game of just absolute domination. We'll hop in for a little bit and hopefully throw it away. I mean, oh, I mean win. Handoff goes to Le'Veon Bell. He's wearing number 28. That certainly doesn't look weird. He's having a crazy game again because... He's a really good player in this. Another third down. Let's go to one of our sick wide receivers. Stefan Diggs wearing 88. Doesn't feel right. We're going to just check down on the drag. DJ Moore. Also, people always get on me in these rebuilds. Like, Bengal, wow, you suck when it gets to the gameplay. You should stick to the rebuild. It's like, first of all, yeah, I wish. Uh, but, like, it's like, but what bad play calls? I, I'm doing Ask Madden, dude. I don't. <laughs> Every game is a different playbook. I, I play so little of the actual game. All right. Give me a break. Third and seven. Stepping up in the pocket with Wilson. Why is it not letting me step up? It's not letting me. What the H, dude? We get the first down. At least we did. It was 
It wasn't letting me run. What in the H? I'm starting to think my controller's broken the way R2's reacting. When I try to actually move out of the pocket with Russell Wilson. But here we go. That's got to be a touchdown. You can't make that throw that quickly, Russell Wilson? I'm not asking that much. All right. Here we go. Fourth and one. It's not letting me move. Now, oh, Bangley, you suck. Stop blaming the game. It's, 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 it's butterscotch is what it is. That's a BS, if you guys didn't know, which stands for uh, bullshit. I joked and said, let's throw the, away the game, and we actually are. <laughs> it's just, just great. That's the game, though. 28-23, and the Big Ten squad is headed to the Super Bowl. The Jags in the Super Bowl in Dallas. Well, we've already ran through Dallas once in the playoffs, so... Time for round two, this time against the 88 overall Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, doing a lot of moment skipping so far. We've been just mowing through teams in the playoffs. And um, we start this game no differently with a score. Jacksonville answered with a field goal, but we'll take over in the red zone. Try to capitalize with the touchdown. Maybe that last game was just being weird with the moments. And uh, perhaps this game will be able to easily navigate, throw a touchdown or two, and get on with our day. Yo, Saxonville is no joke. I I can't I don't have I have no time. Hey, but check out this field goal though. Check out my abilities here. Oh no. Drilled it. Check it out. Wow. Whoa. Our defense needs help. You're gonna put me in for a field goal block? Yeah, how about that's not gonna happen actually. Alright, we're up 20 to 6 now. The game is essentially over. We will hop in on third down. All these suggestions are plays that I've never seen before, and they look kind of cool. So I will be trying them and blocking as many players as possible. So I actually have maybe a second or two, even, to throw in the pocket. They're sending a heavy blitz, and I don't I don't really like anything, so we're just going to take off. Uh, I mean, hmm. I'm going to go for it on fourth and eight, because why not? There's no point not to. The game is over. I have decided it. And who knows? Maybe I'll even be able to convert here for yards. We're going to step up. Throw on the run. End zone. DJ Moore holds on. Touchdown. That's a real big shock. I thought for sure that ball was coming out. Something in this new update. I feel like they catch more spectacular catches than ever. Which is awesome. Because I really like to throw jump balls on occasion. So I like that. I like that. The patch made a lot of things harder. And that a lot easier. Another catch by DJ Moore. Let's get Stefan Diggs a target. Oh, I want to throw that ball. But we're going to run instead. And Russell Wilson fumbles, recovered by Stefan Diggs. And he scores a touchdown. That's exactly how we drew it up. I wanted to get Stefan Diggs the ball. And um, that's how you do it. You fumble to him. It was a design fumble that's in the playbook. You can count on it. Um, and you get him to score. It was very easy. That's exactly how we drew it up. It worked to perfection. I feel like we don't have enough guys in this hands team. We're missing a guy in the middle. Doesn't matter. Darius Fi Darius. Well, that wouldn't be Darius Phylon. I don't know who that would be. That's a uh, drafted player. And we'll hand the ball off to Le'Veon Bell to end the game here. Dude, it's like, why would it not tick down? I honestly just want to go for this. Get the first down easily. And then call a play because I think it'll be faster so I don't have to wait the remaining seconds to end the game so that's exactly what we're going to do as we convert to DJ Moore over the middle the game is over and miraculously the Big Ten team has won the Super Bowl we missed out on a lot of Big Ten players obviously you can't include them all no Marshawn Lattimore, no Michael Thomas no Ezekiel Elliott those are just big Ohio State guys we missed out on a lot of players but we did have some really impactful ones J.J. Watt. We also didn't have Indomitian Sue. We had Levante David. We had Ryan Shazier. Malik Hooker. Uh, who else was on this team? I'm trying to think of the defense. K1 Short at Purdue. Purdue was represented. Do you believe it or not? We had... Um, that was a great highlight, by the way. I had a field goal. 
On offense, of course, Russell Wilson was on the team to start with, so that was good. But we had Stephon Diggs at Maryland. DJ Moore, Maryland. Nick Fitnette. Offensive line brought in Taylor Lewan from Michigan. Of course, Le'Veon Bell, Michigan State. It was a good bunch. I'm hoping... I'm, I'm stalling for time, so they go to the the damn uh, area and raise a trophy as DJ Moore wins the Super Bowl MVP. Ryan Ramchek, Wisconsin, was represented. Of course, also with J.J. Watt, they were represented. Uh, at cornerback, Penn State, we had um, Trevor Williams. We had a lot of guys. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. SEC might be the next challenge, but could also be Pac-12, Big 12, ACC, Group of Five, Independent is probably not going to happen, so no Notre Dame, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.